Here now is Republican Congressman Rod Blum, House Freedom Caucus member. What do you think of where we seem to be right now in the tax bill? Uh, thanks, thanks for having me on, first of all, Melissa. Uh, I think we're coming down to the last few days. We've waited over 30 years. Uh, I believe it was 86 when Reagan passed uh, the last major tax reform bill. So we're coming down to the last few days, and uh, it's bound to be tense and uh, a lot of back and forth. But that's government. It's the way it should be. Uh, but I'm absolutely confident uh, President Trump will be signing a large uh, tax reform bill on Christmas Eve, Melissa. Yeah, I mean, does it put pressure on everyone to get it done after that loss that we saw in Alabama for the Republicans, knowing you have one less vote? Uh, well, that's the Senate, of course, yeah, and of course. Uh, I, I worry. I worry mainly about the House, uh, but that could put some pressure on uh, getting it uh, getting it done soon in the Senate. Uh, but I, I just think overall, uh, everyone in, in our party for sure realizes the impact, Melissa. This is going to have positive impact on our economy and on the working families' uh, wages and take-home pay. Everyone realizes that it's long overdue. Yeah, I mean, what do you think of this last iteration that we're hearing just now today? The idea that corporate tax rate taking that to 21 percent, maybe to give a little bit of room to bump down that top rate to ease for the folks who are going to get hit with that change in the salt. I mean, now it seems like maybe there really is something for everyone in this bill. Uh, yes, I, I personally am fine with the corporate tax rate going from 20 to 21 percent. It'll still put us in the lowest 25 percent of developed countries worldwide, the corporate tax rates. And uh, it does bring the ta top tax rate down a couple points to help uh, uh, compensate for the salt deduction. Uh, if it stayed at the 39.6 percent, I would also be happy with that and give more tax relief to the middle class. I know Stuart Varney wouldn't want to hear that, uh, <laughs> but I, th I think that would be all right. I mean, this does seem like it has the real potential to spur some major economic growth. Ironically, the knock from the other side, for some other folks I've heard is, oh, no, now the economy is going to move too fast and overheat. <laughs> what? I know. What? It made us Wouldn't triple, be... too, but that is the knock. Yeah. yeah, for the last 10 years, uh, we've grown at 50% of the average post-World yeah. War II growth rate, Melissa. I'm sure you're well aware of that. Oh, yeah. So uh, for us to grow at 3, 3.5% three isn't overheated. It's merely going back to the average rate since World War II. And if, if we grow at 2.5% for the next 10 years, this tax cut will pay for itself. Yeah. This is not going to increase the deficit. I am a firm believer it's going to reduce our deficit. Yeah. What did you think about the way the president sold it today, bringing families out there who would actually see some real benefit and trying to illustrate that for people, um, you know, who might be hearing, oh, this is, you know, middle class people are going to have their taxes go up. Yeah, well, that's absolutely a fabrication. Middle class families on average are going to see a tax cut. But I think more importantly, Melissa, for middle class families, is they're going to see their wages go up because the economy is doing better. Yeah. I've seen estimates, Melissa, anywhere from $2,500 a year to $6,000 a year in additional pay because of this tax reform package. That combined with the tax cuts, our working families, our middle class families are finally going yeah. to see some prosperities after 20 years of falling behind. You know, I do believe that to be mathematically true. I hope the numbers bear out. I don't see why they wouldn't. Sir, thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. Now we need to get after spending so yes, that you will owe me, you. A, you'll owe me a Slurpee. Yes, I will. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> thank welcome. you for reminding me. You're welcome. David.